Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 14 in Candy Crush Saga's special event, Winter Festival. I almost said Saltnado, because it is so much like Saltnado. And then if I start calling it Saltnado, I'm going to want to call it Sharknado. Oh my goodness, it's a slippery slope. Okay, so here we go. 27 moves to clear out 36 jelly and collect two ingredients. It's a hard level, we can tell by the skull and the purple here. So if I don't get it done the first time round, I won't beat myself up. I'll just keep trying to learn. So let's look at all of the elements on the board. We've got frosting covering some of the jelly. We have got sugar keys. And what I need to do is take out the frosting in at least one of these spots, if not all, so I can get to the sugar keys. The keys help me open up these sugar chests. And you'll see some of the sugar chests are a little bit lighter than others, like this is just one layer, and then we go to two layers, and so on and so forth, up to five layers. We've got to collect a lot of keys to get all of those layers gone. And then we'll be able to access the stuff that's here, including the licorice twirls, with more licorice twirls set to come out. We've got some helpers on the board. Once we can get things open, we can drop these uh, ingredients down. But notice we've got these candy cane fences, and these are barriers. And so we've got to use specials to get over through to here because... Uh, we can't reach here very well on our own while these barriers exist. But then we've got the licorice, and stripes don't go well through licorice. I think that these planted here are going to be a big help. So let's just see what we can do. So first of all, I want to take out things by the dispensers here. I can't get to them very easily. I'm probably going to have licorice drop down, although sometimes there's a one or a two turn delay before licorice shows up. Uh, let's do this. I've got this color bomb now. Yeah, I'm going to make a stripe. Now, I'm also noticing the licorice isn't coming out at all. It may be that we get a little bit of a, a benefit while these are all locked up that nothing bad is going to happen to us with the licorice here. Sometimes it has to be triggered by opening up other licorice and starting to take that out. And that looks to be the case here for us. Okay, so now I've got this. I need to get it gone. I think I'm going to do this here and try to blow things up. Now, because licorice is in these sugar chests, we won't be able to get through over to here. That's just part of the board. That's how it works. Uh, once we get rid of the licorice, we can try to get over through there. I like this. I'm going to take this first and hope this still exists in a moment. And then look at this. I have another key because I still have a couple of layers here to open. But what if I could get a green down here? Oh, stink. That's not working out. Hold on. There we go. Look at that. I like that better. So I'm going to turn everything blue into a stripe. Okay, and now I can use this to hit this and clear things out in this column and to hit over here and blow this up and try to get this ingredient collected and just make more space everywhere else on the board. So once I'm able to clear out the frosting using these, those ingredients drop down fairly easily. That's a good thing to know. And now I've got this beautiful striped wrapped combo and it's going to hit this and do the same thing over here that the other wrapped candy did here. And it's going to start taking out some of these things. But I still have cleanup here at the end. A lot of things that haven't been reached. Thankfully, I've only got four colors on the board. And so it concentrates things down. It makes it easier. Not easy, just easier for me to make specials. Notice, though, I've got some of these things trapped in these candy cane. Oh, I don't know which, which move I want to make here. I think what I want to do is to try to put these stripes and wraps together. These candy cane fences make life tough for me. Could do another stripe this way, but I'm going to come here and now I can get through into those areas. 
Okay, so now I have three jelly left. One is double thick. They should all flash. There we go. After a few seconds to remind me of where everything is. I've got the elements I need on the board. I just have to get things together. So taking out the licorice is helping. And look at that. I've got this stripe. So here we go with this. We take out this side. We take out this. And now I still have some problems. Should I do this? If I can take this out, it's going to take off and send things over here. So I'm going to focus more on what I can do over on this side of the board. Unfortunately, I'm just not really able to pair that up, but I think I've got it now. If I do this, I get the blue together. And on my very last turn, but on my first try, I can clear that out. It's a tricky board, lots of different elements, but hopefully you've been able to see where I've been able to take out those blockers that exist and how to deal with those. If you have questions or comments, please put those below. If it refers to a particular part of the video, if you can give me a timestamp, if there's something that's confusing and you give me a timestamp, I can more easily find the problem that you're referencing and get you that answer more quickly. If this was helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.